is up everybody the hunter gt with the hunter gt.com that's right go check out the website what is going on today back out at the old park old faithful right tons of coins here seeds barbers wheat pennies mercury dimes silver dollars all sorts of rad stuff silver rings gold rings craziness this park has treated a ton of detectorists very well well that's the problem there's a ton of detectorists hitting this park up it's pretty hunted out it's not hunted out but it's fairly hunted out you really gotta eke out the last couple finds here and i'm getting kind of tired of it so i'm starting off 2020 by saying my farewell to this park I'm not going to hunt it as much. I'm going to try to get to other parks, other schools, do a little more research, get up to the lake, get up to the old creeks, the old Tragon, or Tragon, Wagon Trails, Tragon Whales. I almost said Tragon Whales. Wagon Trails. Spit it out, you idiot, Hunter GT. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do some permissions. We're going to do some other stuff coming up in 2020. Stay away from this old park and, yeah, use some different machines, stuff of that nature. Nocta Macro Simplex is the detector of the day right now. I have the Amphibio in the car and may do a half and half video or two separate videos. We'll see what we find. I don't think I'll be able to make two videos with each one or one with each detector because it just it doesn't give it up like it used to this park has just really been stingy to me lately i haven't made very good videos here lately it, it is what it is it is what it is but we're going to give it a try one last time to start off 2020 and then say our farewell and 2020 is just going to be a different type of year here on the hunter gt channel you want to pick one of these bad boys up the simplex the amphibio the cruiser the impact the racer 2 who are you going to call well me of course the hunter gt hit me up on gmail the website Facebook, YouTube, you know how to get a hold of me. I am a Nocta Macro dealer. I would love to have your business. We can talk pricing and all that good stuff. The Hunter GT. That's right. All right. Well, without further ado, why don't you shut your face, the Hunter GT, and let's go try to find us some stuff. Right there, three in a row. Boom, boom, boom. A coin spill. Three pennies. Not the greatest, though. Why? I got a 78 and two zincs. One's a 2014, one's like a 82, I want to say. So yeah, not the greatest coin spill. So I don't know, is that a good omen? I get a coin spill to start the day? Or is that a bad omen? Because I've already dug two zinc pennies that I didn't even mean to hit. I hit the, I hit this, trying to avoid those. I don't know, I don't know what that means. See, they're getting close. They're getting close. There's always one that stares at you, too. See that one over there to the left? He's always staring out of the corner. Everybody else is eating. He's the guy that says, get him. Get that guy right there. See, he's a guy. Look at him. He's not He's not moving. He's not Everybody else is playing. They're feigning like they're eating. It, this is a ploy. This is a ploy. They're flanking maneuvers on this side. We got him over here flanking on this. I, I, I'm in real trouble, folks. Uh, this, this, this might be the last video. This might be the last video of the Hunter GT. Surface find, just sitting right there. Look at that, a little screwdriver. I'll take it. Into the toolbox you go. Right there, just laying on the ground. Eyeball. Oh, the wind has picked up and it is cold. It's only like 47 degrees right now and I'm freezing my butt off. Freezing. All right, 91, 92. We got a circle and two rings, about three triangles down. So it should be a quarter. Quarter bottle cap. Let's find out. Boom, straight out the hole right there. There were about five, eh, five inches down or so. Boom, you see what that is. You could tell what that is, baby. That is silver for sure, for sure. Oh, yes. Absolutely, honking silver ring. Nice. What is that? Looks like a couple uh, intertwined circles. Or, oh, fish. They're fish. All right. Intertwined. What's the symbol? Is that religious? Marriage? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's definitely silver. I don't even have to look for the marking. We're gonna look anyways on the inside there. Let's rub it. I don't see it. Zoom in, you dummy. There it is. There it is. Right there. Yeah, boy. <laughs> That's got, yep, 925, boom. There's a mark right there, definitely silver. First silver of 2020. 
Yeah, boy, the drought is over. I haven't found silver in a couple months. And that is the first silver for the Simplex as well. First silver for the Simplex. Yay, Simplex. Like my sixth, seventh hunt with it. And I still have yet to find a silver coin with it. But I'll take this any day. This is better than a coin. Honestly, I love big honking silver rings. And this one's a beauty. It's not bent up really too bad. Little bend right there, it looks like. Not too bad at all. Yeah, boy. Happy New Year mm, 2020. Hello. Dime penny signal. <laughs> one circle, one ring, two triangles, probably about two to four inches. Let's find out. All right, well, look at that. It turned out to be a coin spell, actually. A 75 penny, a 79 penny, an 83 dime and a 61 nickel that's an odd coin spell right there with a 61 nickel in there man that's silver range right there not silver for a nickel that needs to be world war ii range um but yeah that's silver range on the nickel but all these not quite a decade off basically 75 79 and then 83 is a couple decades off on to the next yeah right there about three inches just found that I don't know who that dude is or what that writing is. Chinese, Vietnamese, Korean, I don't know. It says five. I see a five and everything else is an I don't know. Um, it's definitely Asian of some sort. I don't know if it's like Indonesia, China. I just don't know. There it is. It rang up like a quarter. Let's see what it rings up as real quick. Or I'm sorry, a nickel. 23, 24, so right under a nickel. Nickel is usually 25, 24, 25, 26, and this is ringing up 23, 24. So, yes, sir. I don't know what it is. There it is. <laughs> Quarter signal. Maybe it's another silver ring. I doubt it, but we'll find out. Clad quarter, just like it said it was. 1981, the year. Not a silver ring. That's all right, though. That's all right. All right, I switched parks. I'm over at the Loud Park. Why do I call it the Loud Park? Because look at these overpasses. There's two of them right here. There's a merge on back over here. It's quite loud. It's quite loud. So I switch parks. I switched detectors. I told you it'd be a half and half video with the Simplex and the Amphibio. So we got the Amphibio with the 9x11 coil out here. We're going to rock it, see what we find. I found a wheat penny out there somewhere. No silver yet at this park, but a wheat penny, so it's definitely silver range. First find of the day right here at about 3-4 inches. Look at this crap. A 1977 penny. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? The first find? I switched parks. I switched detectors. New fresh outlook, and I get a 77 penny. Yeah, if you're new to my channel, you may not know that these haunt me. Just about every video, I find a 77 penny. It's my thing. I wish it wasn't my thing. I wish a seated, a barber. I wish gold coins. I wish gold coins were my thing. Yeah, that'd be a good thing to have. Shallow nickel. Signal. Nickel signal. Twenty-nine, thirty, twenty-nine, right there. Real solid, right there. Says it's only an inch. We'll see. Pull tab or nickel. It's actually down there about three to four inches, not one inch. Why? Because it was two nickels stacked on top of each other. I'm surprised it actually didn't up average or down average it. It's usually going to up average with two nickels, but uh, yeah, two of them right out of the same hole. One is a 81, one is an 84, it looks like. An 81 and an 84 right there. Cool. Dual nickels. I'll take it. Dime penny signal somewhere. There it is.
79, 80, 81. Yeah, about an inch. Inch or two inches? Yeah, about two inches. Uh, 1963. So silver range, not wheat penny. Wheat, wheat penny's 58 or older. Um, so pretty close to a wheat penny, honestly, but not quite. But we're in silver range. 63 would be a silver if it was a dime or a quarter. So I found that wheat penny along this line down there somewhere, over by those cars, kind of by the fence line over there. Uh, not quite, but pretty close to that area. So hopefully we'll hit something here in a minute. You see it? It's a surface find. It's not an eyeball find. There it is, a little indent and everything. Just a clad dime. Hit it with the coil, then I saw it right away. I was like, oh, somebody just dropped it. 2002. 2012. 2018. What the hell is that? 2018. All right, I'm looking through the camera. 2018 is, yeah, so it's a fresh drop then. Just sitting right there. Little indentation. Coil find, not an eyeball find. Dime penny signal. Two inches or so. 79, 80. Couple mineralization bars. Might be a bottle cap. I don't think so. I think it's a dime penny. All right, right there. Clad dime. 2000 and something or other. Oh, I dropped it. We'll never know. I need a metal detector. Oh, good thing I have the amphibio right here. Clad dime. On to the next. Order signal. Scratchy one. I think it might be a bottle cap. It's all over the place ID, but there's no mineralization bars, so it kind of has me, hmm, there's one right there, but then it goes away. And it's really mineralized dirt. If I pump the coil, look at that. Five bars show, or four or five bars. Four or five bars. I'm ground balancing at about 81, 82 right now, so it's really nasty dirt so we'll see if it's just mineralization playing a trick or if it's a bottle cap because it's only two inches and it should be given a much better signal than that if it's a quarter we'll see it was not a quarter it was a copper washer that's gonna ring good no matter what detect I don't care if you have a multi-frequency an amphibio or a $10 kids detector this is gonna ring up good um, no matter what it's copper it's round it's hollow yeah this is definitely gonna ring up good on just about any detector rang up as a quarter range a little bouncy I think it was on edge maybe but yeah this is gonna trick you just about 99% of the time if you're not digging this you're absolutely missing targets that's for sure so, you know, it's not that today's been bad or metal detecting's been bad or anything, but it's just, it's frustrating me lately. Uh, four quarters, what, about five dimes, three nickels, and pennies. Look at these pennies. A 63, a 69, a 64 right there, another 63, a 61. I'm getting all these, this quarter up here is a 60, 70, some 71 I want to say. So I'm getting all these coins like right at the turn of the 70s and 60s and there's been a weak penny here and everything. And this is just from this park. This is just since I came over with the Amphibio. No silver. I know it's here. I know it's here. I don't know what's going on with it lately. So yeah, I've been frustrated. It, it doesn't matter the detector. I've just been frustrated with metal detecting lately. Clad is rad. Clad is rad. And that big old honking silver I just found with the simplex, that's totally rad too. But where the hell are the silver coins that normally pop up once a week for me? It's been a few months now and it's getting ridiculous. Real scratchy. Seventy-nine, eighty. It's really scratchy, though. The ID's okay, but it's got a lot of weirdness to the sound. 
No mineralization meter though, so I'm thinking it's a dime penny for sure. Kidding me right now. Another dime, a clad one, 65 on the year there. Not sure if they can make that out. Zoom in. Freaking kidding me, man. That's enough. That's enough already. On to the next. I'm, I'm calling it a day. I'm calling it a day, actually. I'm going to walk towards the car. If I find something good, I'll show it. If not, I'll see you on the next video.